a sad truth for many of us, myself included, but lying in bed with your eyes glued to your phone each night might be hindering your ability to get a good night's sleep. But there are features on smartphones that might actually help you rest better. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more. From social media to text messages, even streaming sites, sometimes, let's face it, it can be a little hard to put down your phone at night. But health organizations like the Cleveland Clinic recommend putting your phone down an hour or two before bed. If you stay up late at night, kind of doom scrolling or whatever, uh, a phone is probably not uh, your best friend when it comes to getting a good night's sleep. But Nicholas De Leon at Consumer Reports says that if you utilize settings built into iOS and Android, your phone can be a tool to help you sleep better. For instance, you can turn on the blue light filter. That's called night shift in iOS. Uh, Android uses slightly different terminology. But basically what that does is it shifts the color spectrum of your phone towards the warmer end so that you don't have blue light kind of blasting into your eyes, which may uh, negatively affect uh, your quality of sleep. This mode can be enabled manually, or you can schedule it to coincide with sunrise and sunset. Dimming your screen or toggling it to dark mode can help too. It makes the backgrounds of apps and websites darker. You can also try setting a bedtime and wake up schedule via an alarm. The sleep focus feature on iOS or sleep mode on Android. That way your phone will give you a heads up when it's time to wind down and notifications will be silenced until your morning alarm. Now you can further customize that so that let's say, you know, you don't want notifications from social media or things like that, but you do want notifications for a spouse or a family member. If they call or text you, you want to know that. So you can then go and enable those notifications to still go through. And if you like to take naps, you can silence notifications any time of day by switching to do not disturb. There's a big button, do not disturb, and it, you can just turn it on and, and nothing will go through and, and turn it off when you're when you're woken up from your nap. And if you use white noise to help you snooze, well, there's an option built into iPhones. You can also download third party apps. Maybe you've got loud neighbors next door. You don't necessarily want to hear the kind of muffled sounds or their voices. You could put these white noises uh, on your phone and, and, you know, deal with that a little bit less. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.